Falls are the most common cause of injury and hospitalization in older adults. They are also the principal cause of death and disability in this age group globally. An estimated 30% of older adults, aged 65 and older, fall each year, and this leads to direct and indirect societal costs, which are enormous. The cost of falls is estimated to be over 23 billion in the US alone. A system which could provide an accurate assessment of falls risk prior to falling could facilitate timely medical intervention and help to ease the burden on overstretched healthcare systems worldwide. Currently, falls risk is assessed using a variety of clinical scales, which can be subjective and also variable in their administration. We will demonstrate a highly intuitive prototype application, and this represents a unique approach to robustly predicting the risk of future falls in elderly adults. We use kinematic data obtained from shank-mounted triaxial gyroscopes. Sensor data are sampled at 102.4 Hz and streamed wirelessly via Bluetooth to an Android-based mobile application. The central component of the mobile application is a probabilistic estimate of the risk of future falls, along with analysis of key quantitative aspects of each patient's movement when compared to norms for the patient's age and gender. The falls risk estimation method was developed and validated using body-worn sensor data acquired from 349 community-dwelling older adults while performing the timed up and go test. And this was done in the Trill Centre in St. James's Hospital in Dublin, Ireland. The tug test was performed as follows. The participant was asked to get up from a standard chair, walk three metres, turn at a designated point, return to the seat and sit back down. The time taken to complete the task is also recorded using clinician using a stopwatch and this is traditionally associated with falls risk, i.e. the longer you take to complete the tug test, the higher your falls risk. Inertial sensor data for each patient were acquired using body-worn gyroscopes which were attached to the midpoint of the anterior shank. Now these sensors were oriented so the wide gyroscope sensor axis captured movement about the anatomical medial axis and they were secured by means of elasticized bandages. A large feature set was derived from the triaxial gyroscope data including spatiotemporal gate parameters, as well as features based on the angular velocity and turn portion of the tug test. Patients were contracted by telephone within two years of their initial assessment to determine if they had fallen. These outcome data were then used to train regularized discriminant classifier models based on relevant subsets of the feature set, and those features were selected using sequential forward feature selection. Results obtained through cross-validation yielded a mean sensitivity of 75.97% and a mean specificity of 81.02%. This compared very well to models based entirely on the manual tug test or the time to complete the tug test and the Berg balance scale. This prototype represents a unique approach for falls risk assessment that is simple, portable and low cost. And we hope that it could form the basis of a screening tool that healthcare professionals could apply to accurately assess future falls risk in a community setting.